Hi, I'm Jason Arp. I'm a city councilman for the 4th District of the City of Fort Wayne. Um, today I'm going to talk to you about the Electric Works project. Uh, the vote that we had last night was a resolution that basically outlined the funding sources um, for a potential project in which we're going to take the old General Electric facility that's on Broadway and turn it into a mixed-use facility that would have uh, apartments and um, office space and other kind of mixed use type things. I think they're talking about maybe a farmer's market or something being there at some point. All right, so this is a massive project. We're talking about a total of $440 million of construction costs. At least that's what the developers are telling us is what it's gonna to cost to develop this, this uh, piece of land. Um, it's on both sides of the street of, on Broadway. And so they've divided into two projects. Each of them will be about $220 million. But um, what we ran through last night was kind of the total. We're looking at uh, 1.26 million square feet that they say will be leasable. I ran the numbers using a $15 square foot a lease rate for these, so that's, that's an annual rent per square foot. And then um, using a 6% discount rate, basically you just multiply this by that, you get that number, and then we divided that by half. So that we're assuming, and this is a very generous assumption, we're assuming that this project is gonna have a 50% operating margin. So you take that operating margin and then you divide that by uh, 6% discount rate and you end up with a value of $150 million roughly. It's about 155 or so. So the project is going to cost nearly three times as much as what it's worth. So if you were buying a car and you say, well, this car is worth about you know, $15,000, are you going to pay $45,000 for it? Or if you have an investment, and your broker comes to you, you know, if we look at what we expect the earnings to be over the foreseeable future, and we're just gonna discount this in a perpetuity at a reasonable discount rate, we'll say your expected return is 6%, eh, it's gonna be worth about 15 bucks a share. Are you gonna say, well, gosh, you know what? I think we should pay 45 for that. Of course not, no one's gonna do that. But that's exactly what the developers are asking the city of Fort Wayne to do. The other thing that I asked, um, at the council meeting, and this is very disappointing. The, the, the whole thing is very disappointing that the newspapers didn't pick up any of our discussion. We had a pretty heated discussion, or at least um, I pointed out a lot of these things and the developers seemed to uh, blush at the numbers. Um, I asked, well, how much equity are you gonna have in this? 15 to $18 million of equity is what they say that they're gonna put into the project. So that would be 10% of what it's worth and a lot less of a percentage of what the total project cost is. Then I ask, well, in your uses, how much is your developer's fee going to be? They expect somewhere between 15 to $16 million. In other words, they will have substantially zero money invested in this. Yet at the end of the day, they will own something that's worth $150 million that we will pay $440 million to construct. Now, in all fairness, not all of this $440 million is going to be coming from the city of Fort Wayne. For phase one, they're asking for $65 million, and the kind of uh, forecasted ask for phase two would be another $35 million. So they're asking for $100 million from the city of Fort Wayne that's combined with at least a hundred million for the first phase from federal and state tax credits. And I'd imagine another hundred million for the second part. And then they're borrowing the balance from lenders. Um, they haven't said who their sources of these loans are. These very well may be loans from other tax credit entities. That's the way the landing was done. They borrowed money from other CDEs in other parts of the country. So, my objection to this is that the taxpayers shouldn't be 100% on the hook for a project in which private investors are going to get all the benefits, and we shouldn't be on anything that we do. 
a, st a good steward of the taxpayer's money is not going to pay three times what something is worth. So th that, those are the reasons I voted no. The Journal Gazette did not do a very good job of explaining why people voted no on the project. I thought it was worth um, telling you about that. Also, I plan on doing a lot of these videos to discuss many of the projects, many of the things that we vote on on council, and just topics of uh, you know, general concern in the area. So um, please tune in. Um, if you're watching via YouTube, please subscribe. You'll get updates when we do uh, more shows. Thanks again.